Get, let's go to this next scripture I wanted to read real quick. Go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. Yes, put that armor on. Come on, come on. Philippians chapter 4, verse 7 and 8. Watch this. Verse 7 says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Let's read it again before I go to eight. Verse seven says, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. There's no other way to guard your heart and mind. The peace of God, you know, God is good. God is peace. Have you ever felt the presence of the Lord? It was just everything that you was worried about just went away. You didn't even care. So God has, the peace of God has poured upon my life so uh, one time, so much, a few times, but in, in some instances where I didn't even care about what was going on with me. I just felt good because I could feel God. Woo, I took an O out of there. Y'all heard it? I just felt good because I could feel God. That's, that, that's going to stick to somebody right there. I just felt good because I could feel God. It says right here in verse 7, mm, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. God's peace supersedes what you try to understand. It supersedes what you try to think. God's peace trumps all of that. This is why we have to keep our mind stayed on him. It ties back into um, Isaiah 26 and three. He will keep you in perfect what? Peace. Peace has a lot to do with your mind. Did you know that? You tell a person you come in peace, that means you had to get your mind right to come that way. Peace has a lot to do with your mind. People think it got something to do with not violence. And yeah, that's another part of it. But it has a lot to do with your mind. If you got peace of mind, you won't be violent. If you got peace of mind, you won't lash out at people. If you got peace of mind, you won't scream and holler and hurt and fight. Peace has a lot to do with your mind. That's why I love that scripture. He will keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him philippians 4 and 7 and the peace of god which surpasses all understanding understanding takes place in your mind Woo! that just that just released and freed somebody right there now and it says this right here this should help us watch this verse 8 says finally brethren and sister, and I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't say sister, but we gonna throw that in there. Finally, brethren and sister, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if is if, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Meditate, put your mind on that. Focus on these things. I'm gonna say those things again. Write them down. Whatever thing is true, meditate on what's true. Whatever thing is noble, meditate on what's noble. Whatever things are just, meditate on what's just. Whatever things are pure, meditate on what's pure. Whatever things are lovely, meditate on what's lovely. Whatever things are of good report, meditate on things of good report. If there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, <laughs> meditate on those things. This is why our minds stay in perfect peace. A lot of us, we too focus on these things right here. You know, all of them things I read before, Bugs, apocalypses, and teens being sad, and cats being the mayor, and Christians in the metaverse. 
Bas this, this has nothing to do with anything. Basically, I'm trying to say our minds have got off track because of the world. Which leads me to my next scripture. Our minds have got sidetracked because of the world. We focus in on what the world is doing and saying, and the world has a ugly face and they love to jam the world in our face. They think there's something wrong with us because we rocking with Jesus and what the world going through don't bother us. They think we faking it. No, we got peace. Peace that surpasses all understanding. You know why? Because we don't care about what the world is doing. Leads me to my next scripture, y'all. Let's go. Open, go on over to Romans 12, 1 and 2. Romans 12, 1 and 2. Y'all know this one. This is one of my rap verses. Roman 12, Romans 12, 1 and 2. Before I read it, the problem is... Our minds are too worried about what's going on in this world. Right. Jesus came back for. Right. Right. Yes. 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 Watch this. Romans 12 and one says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And two, I just read one just because you got, you can't read Romans. You got to read one with that. But two is the meat. Watch this. Here it is, y'all. And do not be conformed to this. What? Do not be conformed to this world. But be, it says, but be, oh, I got to go to the next page. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect, the perfect will of God. The Bible tells us right there in Romans 12 and 2. I can't Romans 12 and 2 without the Romans 10 and 9. Romans 12 and 2 tells us, be not conformed to this world. Stop doing what the world is doing. Uh, the world, watch this, y'all. The world has an ugly way of making us try to fit in with them. You know why? Because the world sticks together. The saints need to be doing the same thing. It's hard for the saints to stick together when some of the saints want to conform to the world. You're supposed to be over here. That's like going to war against, say this is Vietnam, but some of the saints, some of the, our squad members is rocking with Vietnam. It's hard to fight this war if some of our own people is rocking with them. God wants us to come out from there and be separated. The Bible says, friend of the world. Thank you, sis. God bless you. The Bible said, friend of the world. Enemy to who? Friend of the world. If you friends with the world, you enemy to who? God. God tells us this. Oh, y'all want to do what the world doing? You my enemy then. You know why he's saying this? Because God has called us and is using us to represent him. So if we in the world, we misrepresenting God. And now he's like, oh yeah, you my enemy. You perpetrating. I called you to show people that I'm real. I got you here so I can work through you, but you too busy rubbing shoulders with the world. Because you want to fit in. You know what makes us conform to the world? You know what makes us conform to the world? Because we care about what the world thinks. Thank you, sis. We care about what the world thinks. So we want to rock with the world because we don't want them to think we not cool like them. Do you know we are cooler than the world? I don't think y'all believe this. We are cooler than the world, y'all. We are kingdom kids. We are sons and daughters of the most high God. Why do we, we should be, we should be making our own trends, y'all. We be blood washed believers doing the twerk challenge because it's trending. We blood washed believers doing the grapefruit, grapefruit challenge 
because it's trending. No, we Christians and believers need to start our own trend. We, we live in a totally different world than the world does. Amen. This is why God tells us in Romans 12 and 2, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Here we go with that mind again. Peace, peace, peace helps the transformation. No shade, but I do a lot of looking at the issues that's going on in the world. Thank you. I do a lot of looking at the issues that's going on in the world. And you know what I say? No shade. But I'll be like, man, I'm so glad I'm not. Man, I'm so glad I'm not a part of that. Man, I don't care about that. Some of the stuff that people be telling me that's going on in the world, they be mad at me because I don't care like I did it. Hey, man, you see what Megan Thee Stallion, you see Megan Thee Stallion got on top of a car and, and, and Tory Lanez told her to sing, I mean, dance, and he shot her. I don't care. I don't care about what's going on in the world. I don't. We all should be that way. This is how we fight. This is how we be. This is what makes us different. We always talk about I'm different and that hit different. And no, if you're doing what the world doing, y'all the same. We different. We're a peculiar people. Not the world. Everybody in the world doing the same thing on different social media platforms. There is a million different people doing the same challenge, but people talking about they different. No, y'all all the same. We different. You know, Team Jesus and them. We different. We just are. We, we, we follow the Lord. We're, he different. Amen. So we need to not conform to this world, ladies and gentlemen, because when we listen to what's going on, in the, we get we get sidetracked. I see saints watching the news worried about what's going on in current events in the news. Why is you worried? You got Jesus, the Christ in you, the Holy Spirit and God protecting you. Why are you worried about what's going on in the world when Jesus told us in the Bible that these things are going to happen? Jesus told us all this was going to happen. All of this. But we worry. Why we worry? We should be getting excited. Ooh, it's, it's getting near. We should be getting ready because hell is real. We should be getting ready, repenting, coming to the Lord, getting our clean, getting ourselves back right with the Lord. A lot of us like to say, when I get older, that's when I'm going to really buckle down and start serving God. You might not get there. This is a lifestyle. Let's walk with Jesus. The Bible, we all sin and fall short. We know that. But let's let's gear and posture ourselves to focus on the, the matters of God, what God wants to do. We are his paintbrush. God wants to paint a picture with his people, but we too busy conforming to the world. Let's let God use us. God is trying to illustrate something in the saints, but we, we listening to all these different doctrines, all these different belief systems, all these different things going on in the world. We mixing it with God. No, ain't no mixing none of that with God. Ain't no sexy saints. God is trying to do something with us, y'all. I would encourage us to surrender and let him use us. Our minds is on our minds is on one and, and 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 we off course because this world that we pay so much attention to is polluting what's supposed to be in perfect peace. It's polluted because we we you listen, even though you're not physically eating it, you are what you eat. What are you watching on your TVs? What are you watching on your TikToks? What are you watching? What are you watching? What are you feeding your spirit? This stuff goes in your eyes is the window to your mind. And it's the window to your soul. But your eyes is your, you can't read a book without eyes, right? So obviously whatever your eyes is paying attention to, that's what your mind is eating. 
but you want peace, but everything you watching is unpeaceful. You want happiness, but everything you watching is fighting, cussing folk out, rumors, what's tea? I can't stand that term, what's tea? We too busy on in the tea world, but we want to be happy, right? We feed in our minds some of the most unpeacefulest stuff. Other people, business, gossip, beefing and fighting with each other, unforgiveness. That's a big one right there. All of us waiting for somebody to tell us sorry first. I'm gonna say that again. All of us waiting for somebody to tell us sorry first. I didn't do nothing to them. They owe me an apology. Well, if you bigger, you go apologize. If they don't accept it, at least that weight is off of you. Pride, come on, Kiki. Pride. But we want peace, perfect peace. When your mind stayed on him, all that other stuff I just named can't get in the way. Your mind ain't got no room for it because your mind is full of the things of God. That's what, 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 what we said earlier, uh, faithfully, the things that are noble, you know, praiseworthy, all of that. That's that's what feels, that shit would be filling our minds up right there because we meditating on those things. We meditating on Philippians 4 and 8. Amen.